On this week's breaking news, a lot of things happening in the LEGO community from a world record to a working light up lightsaber. Also, as we get ready for spring, gift with purchases are on the way. So stay tuned for this week's breaking news. First, I want to talk about a really cool store, a brick monarch shop. This website is designed for all those AFOLs out there that are looking for some great t-shirts with classic logos, some home decor you can put on your walls, such as shields and some other great iconic aspects from the Lego history. You can head over to the link in our description for Brick Monarch Shop and you can get a discount of 10% off using Back to Brick 10. That's Back to Brick 10, the number two. So head over there so you can get some really cool AFOL swag. All right, now let's get to the breaking news. Lego. 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 Breaking news. Breaking news. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Back to Brick. I'm your host, Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow AFOLs about their Lego designs, and we get down to the breaking news every week to talk about all things Lego has been up to for the past week and the Lego community, which I will preface that has happened quite a lot in these podcasts, but feel like this week is a special one because it's not much from lego but definitely in the community itself make sure to subscribe to the podcast if you have not done that yet i would love for you to stick around and listen to all our amazing well news and discussions with lego designers which we haven't done in a while but i definitely have a few people lined up so stay tuned for some of those episodes and those episodes usually come out on mondays so i will keep you updated if one is coming up since these come out on friday so a few things on admin one this is the last day that you can vote on the bricklink designer program builds i have the two builds in there the fungus collection and the oscillating desk fan it always takes me a second to remember how to say all of that if you could leave it a comment as well as a nice big smile or heart that would be appreciative so then maybe it can be considered for one of the five sets that will be made into a lego set which would be so so cool another thing that is big on our agenda for admin is the patreon i told you about it last week that i'm going to finally set up a patreon account to give you more options on how to listen to the podcast now you might be thinking well why isn't he a patreon blah blah blah. and it it's really because i want to make the community even more connected and give you some perks along the way so the different tiers we're going to start with the lego red stud which is three dollars per month you'll get a call out on the podcast episode your name will be in the show notes and you'll get early access so they'll be posted before they're put on spotify or anything else and also there are no ads this is great i know a lot of people don't like the ads, so that's a nice little perk there's going to be the trans blue uh, stud which is a free back to brick patch which i have a couple pictures of and you'll also be called uh, to help out with the podcast i will describe that a little bit later once uh, well whoever gets to that level and uh, helps with the podcast lego silver stud you'll get a live stream build once a month with me and you'll get access to the Lego set raffles. Now, uh, we are going to definitely figure out how to do that. But once uh, once a month, or we'll, we'll try to figure out what we want to raffle off. Uh, the Chrome Gold uh, Stud is a personalized shout-out on Instagram, which I have over 50,000 votes, and a personalized one-on-one -on -one video where we could talk Lego. And if you're working on a Lego build, I could either give you tips or kind of help in the building process. And then the last one is the One Ring for $100. And this is a personalized build by me, along with all the other perks. I will build you a Lego design and then just uh, be undying fealty to you have just made my day to to help with this and this will be a huge impact to the podcast and i hope to build my lego stud community through there and post some really exclusive cool content i'm going to do a lot of video stuff there as well as just um, giving you guys exactly what you want and need on uh, or from me on the podcast so please go over to the link in the description and sign up for the podcast patreon and i will be eternally grateful so that's all the admin we have we will be doing a lego set review at the end of the breaking news this week's is going to be because it's becoming april 31133 the white rabbit so stick around after the breaking news to have a listen to that all right let's get into the breaking news 
AI has been the talk of the town, as we've seen a lot with ChatGPT and a bunch of other ones that, uh, well, are just kind of taking over the internet and not only the internet, but industry as well, as I talk about it a lot in my job. Uh, it seems that everyone uh, wants to get to know how to use it. And there was a man on Insta excuse me on YouTube, uh, Green Skull AI, that talks about how Lego and the AI systems are interacting. And you can even create some really cool photos with it. So in the systems that he's used for AI, he's like said, I want sad Batman in the cave. And it'll do a Batman minifigure inside a cave. There'll be round duck, which I thought... Uh, was strange, but I guess it's a, a meme where it's uh, just a smear, fear, ah, spherical ball with a duck face on it and a bunch of other really cool ones. They do all, not only just the minifigures with these cool interactions, but also uh, integrating them in the real world and building really big sets once you kind of say, I don't know if it's, I mean, it's just making things look like Lego and the minifigures, they're adapting it, of course, but this is pretty cool. And it seems AI is just going to keep doing some amazing things. And I, I wonder what they'll come up with next. There's been a lot of Lego resale shops popping up all over the place. And there's this really cool one that has a little special detail that not every Lego brick resale store has. And this is a shop called Brick It Again. And this store brings together a lot of Lego sets that have been donated and they're washed, cleaned, and resold. But what's really cool about it is it's designed to work in tandem with the recovery-based mental health program. At the heart of our mission for the store is to provide vocational and um, employment opportunities for individuals with special needs to achieve their highest levels of independence. They get to work with uh, Lego bricks and get to clean them up and build them just to make sure that they're all there and they're not knockoffs, then they're resold. And this is a beautiful way to adapt and have all people build Lego and uh, give them an opportunity to gain work experience. I, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful idea. Brick It Again is something that should be all over the place. And I highly encourage you to go buy some of these sets from Brick It and support this great venture. Now, for all those fans of Lego Masters, it's usually filmed in Atlanta. That has kind of been now the new Hollywood where there's, well, a lot of tax incentives to do it and some great studio space. Not only that, Lego Discovery Center is in Atlanta, and recently it's just reopened after a $5 million investment to expand it. This time, they've added a Duplo Park with oversized bricks for younger builders, a spaceship building station, and a racing VR experience. So it's not for adults, unfortunately, unless you have kids, which sucks for me because I do not, but that's okay. Cost of $29 per person, regular admission, and $42 for general admission, VR experience, and a Lego minifigure, and digital photos. It looks really fun, especially with the expansion. They've added a lot of new builds, and these exp experiences are great to interact with and have kids continue to enjoy it, not just for the afternoon, but afternoon and evening would be just ideal for everybody to keep playing with Lego. And I can't wait till our Discovery Center opens and we have an adult night so I can go and check it out as well. One of our favorite podcast guests, Brick Science, actually has been, well, growing extremely fast on his YouTube specifically, where he has almost 750,000 subscribers. And he continues to build these really cool and intricate Lego builds where he integrates some things that are not Lego. And the most recent one is his Lego lightsaber. What's really cool is it is designed to light up and it has, uh, well, a pretty sturdy structure to it so that you can wield it similar to a normal lightsaber. It is a full scale lightsaber size. What he did is he put like a Technic frame up the middle and then ran some LED lights and he only bought ones that are red so you can only be part of the Sith. Although he'll probably see if he can change that out. Um, it does wiggle a little bit or wobble around because uh, it's, it's still pretty long and can be unstable. But this is just one of his builds. I'm going to post the YouTube video in the description and you can check out all his other work you can also check out his podcast episode with us way back when he was just a really small creator so it's fun to see those stories and how people grow also he stole my line of breaking news so disregard that that's that's mine 
Lots and lots of world records continue to be set with Lego because why not? You can build more and more Lego and it'd be really fun to continue to do. And one actually has been uh, another world record in California. A Lego master actually by the name of Sam Shikshiri uh, of Legoland California has built the longest Lego roller coaster track. It comes to a total of about 30,000 Lego bricks. It's nine feet tall at its highest point and 140 feet long. That's a pretty long, long uh, roller coaster track, and I wonder if he gets enough speed to continue going, or there's some motors. There's a couple videos of it you can find on YouTube. That's awesome. I mean, roller coasters are, are pretty cool, and definitely since LEGO's come out with now two, this was just a nice addition to use those tracks to good use, and I wonder how many he had to buy to do that. I mean, he didn't have to buy. He just got it from uh, being a LEGO master at Legoland. Either way, very cool, and if you are at the Legoland California area, you can go check out that awesome build and see that roller coaster just roll on and on and on and on. Now, as LEGO approaches, they're going to be doing some more gift with purchase. And actually, there are three this uh, this coming month. One is the House of the World 2. They did one already. I can't remember where it's from, but this one is uh, the North Africa. Uh, it does have a um, Moorish architecture style, so it's got some uh, interesting colors to it. And, of course, uh, the tan and they do have some detail inside, which is pretty cool. And the door handle actually has the one ring. So similar to anyone who becomes a one ring Patreon, which would be super cool. The next one is the botanical gift with purchase. This one is the flower pot with uh, various smaller plants added to it. And I really enjoyed the, the size of it. Um, it does have the... Um, what are they called? Like the petals or whatever you call it from... An, a an air blimp or a balloon for the vase and then the flowers coming out of it. So that will be a unique design and something fun to get with a gift of purchase. And the last one is um, this pirate ship playground. So you know those fun playground things where it's all made of wood and they've got slides and it looks like you're actually in a pirate ship? Well, this one is that. And I they're leaning in always to the pirate, um, uh, well, the, wow, theme. There we go. That it, it's really fun. It does have a slide in the middle and it, it even has a little sea monster on the side with two kid minifigures. They're, they're really great, and I love the gifts of the purchase styles that they've been doing. It's almost impossible, though, to get them all. I mean, what are you going to buy three different times? Or if they're stacked, I guess. But still, that's a lot of gifts of the purchase, and that's just the month of April. And then May is May the 4th, so a bunch of Star Wars stuff. You're going to be broke. I mean, we're always broke, but that's just normal, I guess. And uh, if you want some of these gifts of the purchase, you'll have to stay tuned. I'll have the dates coming up so that you can go and get those this next month. The 2K video game, the LEGO's newest racing game, is coming out soon, and as has been revealed, it seems to be a wonderful open-world style of racing. And they're already starting to do pre-orders, but there are three different editions, which I'm going to go over the three different editions so they can know which one that you uh, you want to get. First, the standard edition is, um, well, just the standard edition. It just has the game. There's no bonuses, no extra things. It's $70 for the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S, and 60 for the PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So uh, kind of in line with uh, the other games. And you can get it in a digital or uh, physical copy copy. The next one is the two, uh, 2K Drive Awesome Edition. The Awesome Edition comes in at a price of $100 and provides players with a one-year driving pass, first four seasons of the DLC, 550 in-game coins, the awesome pizza vehicle, the three days of early access, and the awesome bonus pack that includes a wheelie, stunt driving minifigure, macho beast vehicle, and a unique vehicle flare. Whoa, that's a lot. And it'll be released on all the other platforms. And the last one is the 2K Drive Awesome Rivals Edition. Now, this comes at a price of 120 and it's only digital, so you'll have to just download it. But I, let me list it all through. So I'm going to combine the packs here as well. So it comes with the base game, the Aqua Dirt Race Pack, three-day early pass, your one drive pass, one-year drive pass, awesome bonus pack, and the awesome rival pack includes the Royal People, Rover Streetcar, Royal Outliner, the Royal Sailor, Reckless Scorpion Stunt Driving Minifigure, Hamburghini Royal Royale, and the Vehicle Flare plus 550 points. Wow, I mean, $120, I'm not sure if I'm that much into the game. 
it will be fun to play. Uh, just all those extras, just I don't actually know what it means. <laughs> and for twice the price of the game, that's okay for me. But if you're interested in all those really cool things, you can buy it as it's upcoming this, um, I believe it's in May is when it finally goes on sale. So you can check those out and actually pre-order them now. Another fun thing with the 2K game is developers are really aiming to do more collaborations. So years and years of different sequels. Now they have some really cool collaborations already with the licenses, but Hey, why not? They could do so many different things. They're talking about, um, the general manager has been a midway games and made Hybro thunder. And then there's three or four driving games with raw thrills, including a Batman game. They have Atari. They also have eighties road, Riot, So many other different properties that they could expand into. And it would just add extra levels to the game. So that you can continue to engage people and to play the game, especially in an open world scenario. Um, I think it, it's really cool. They, they also say, as you drift around Bricklandia's bustling streets, swerving past minifigures and rounding up farmyard animals in a suitably silly side quest, drive, drivers feel like Drives feel like a modern made love letter to retro gaming pixelated past. That is a beautiful statement, and I think that they're right. If you've watched the trailer, it does look like that and reminds me of uh, the old school Lego racing games. And having this uh, in the updated 2023, I, I think it's a very unique and definitely a different style than what we've all seen recently. So the Lego group has been doing really well. I mean, we've seen the profits that they've seen for the company. But uh, remember, it is still a privately owned company by the original family. And they actually have an investment fund, the Kirk B Investment A&S. And actually, it, ha it hasn't been doing well. Um, this past year, its net income dropped almost 60%. From 10.7 billion crones, 1.56 billion, which was a drop from 27 billion crones last year. Now the market has been all kinds of shaky, but it's still it's still a pretty big drop. Um, having just a loss like that, they're gonna have to bounce back. I mean, most people will because the economy will come back. Um, they are the richest individuals in uh, Denmark, well, one of, with a fortune of almost $4.9 billion. So their investments will eventually go back up. The success of Lego is going to continue to give money back into their coffers. So I don't feel that bad, but it does suck. 60% is a major drop, and maybe they need to find somebody else to invest their money. Like my wife, who runs a financial income Instagram and uh, can help them get back on their feet. The Lego team has been working with the Minecraft team for quite some time now. I think it's almost six or seven years. And they're continuing to promote the use of, well, their Lego brick figures from the Minecraft line. And they came out with this really cute video uh, talking about the Lego Minecraft build film adventures. And it compilates all the different designs people have done for stop motion and other things to promote their sets. It's very, uh, very cute. I'm going to put the... YouTube link in the description so you can check that out. And if you're a Minecraft fan, the Lego sets are really cool and definitely go along with the lines of, well, Minecraft is brick form. So you can even do a, a DLCs to make your Minecraft game look like Lego. Why not just go get some Lego? Some other video games Lego has been coming out with is the Lego Brawls, which is kind of the design of um, Super Smash Brothers. This one uh, hasn't um, hasn't been doing well as far as I, I'm told, but they're they're expanding, so maybe that'll be helpful. And they're coming out with a couple other different themes, and one specifically is a castle themed level, so you can play uh, as you know your favorite minifigure characters and build them as well, and have this update kind of create this scene of the castle. Um, I don't know if that'll encourage more people to do it. I, I think Smash Brothers is still the number one for this kind of style. But if you're interested, you can go and get that and update it and enjoy. Being it's spring, PlayStation is now doing its spring sale on its online store, or I think it's PS Online. And right now they actually have both the standard and deluxe versions of the Skywalker Saga marked down 60%. 
That is, uh, that's a nice markdown because, well, a lot of people probably didn't buy the game at full price. I unfortunately did, but that's okay. I, I love the game and I've been playing on the Switch. But PlayStation, it's now down from $50 uh, dollars to $20 and from $60 down to $24. So if you haven't played or bought the game yet and want it on a discount, this is a good time to go and buy and play it and enjoy one of the best games of the year. Lego Star Wars has been working on the Mando season three, and it's been it's been good, but not the best in some cases. I'm not. I think it's just we're not really sure what's happening or where it's going. I I think we know, but I'm I'm not going to spoil. It. Anyways, they have another show coming out on Disney Plus or excuse me Disney Plus, and it's the Young Jedi Adventures. Now they came out with a Lego set for it. This is a floor plus. Tenu Jedi Jedi Temple. It's forty dollars and will be released on June first. And it comes with three awesome minifigures: a Master Yoda, Lai Solo, and Kai Brightstar. I don't know anyone but Yoda, of course, but that's okay. I bet there's the show will explain all that. It is a cartoon style, and it has uh, the Jedi Temple where Yoda's. Uh, raising a rock they have a droid that does a lightsaber or it shoots i'm gonna say probably shoots not a lightsaber maybe it does i don't know but being a four plus set it's nice that they have uh catered to not only the well i guess they've always they've done mandalorian and tv show style sets so this is just another one but more kid form there's some really cool colors to it, and they have uh, the minifigures definitely are an addition to any star wars collector set at $40, it's expensive, but that's usually how that works for 4 Plus, which is crazy to me. But another Star Wars set that you can get your hands on. Lego doesn't only just make Lego sets. They also make books from time to time. And they're doing this really cool Lego Space book that's to recap all the sets from 1978 to 1999. And it's coming out in October of this year. It's going to be $50 and released on Amazon for, uh, excuse me, on October 27th um it's written by tom tim johnson and new element which is pretty cool it's a 200 page hardcover book taking an in-depth look at the space theme so i mean they're focusing on one theme that just means we're going to get a lot of other themes i i think that in general the space theme is one of the most popular that and the castle so i bet they'll do a castle one next this is a beautiful book and something nice to had to add to any lego collector and put it on their bookshelf with all the other Lego books that you might or might not have or want. Another fun story from the Legoland in California. They have built a new Lego City version of in Miniland of San Diego. It's a 1 to 20th scale of some of the most well-known buildings in San Diego. Uh, they have the Rally Shell, the Petco Park, Coronado Bridge, Emerald Plaza, and San Diego Convention Center. Uh, it was completed uh, earlier this week. You can actually go see it. And what they say is San Diego is a beautiful destination filled with stunning architecture, landscapes, and history. And there's nowhere else in the world you can experience Lego's, uh, wow, America's finest city like this, completely out of Lego bricks and on a 1 to 20 scale. Now, they don't talk about the overall piece count, but you can probably calculate it all up because they do talk about how many there are. Like the Emerald Plaza has 204,000 bricks. The uh, Coronado Bridge has 101,000 and a bunch of other ones, of course. And adding them all up, it's uh, it's pretty impressive. They've definitely done a wonderful job with uh, the fairground, with the Ferris wheel. It's all uh, automated with the mini, well, what do they call it, mini land figures? Well, they look nice because they're brand new and they haven't been bleached by the sun yet. So we'll see how long that takes. I know in Florida they had a canopy over it, and I don't know if San Diego does that, but if they did, that would be pretty smart to protect it from the elements just a little bit more. And for our last bit of news for the day, pick a brick is moving away from their plastic um, cups and more towards their cardboard boxes. Now, this is going to screw with a ton of people that have figured out how the best way to get all the bricks into their circular cups. But it might be better because this one is a cardboard box. So a rectangular form is going to be better for that. This isn't just for pick a brick. It is also for your minifigures that you pick up. Having the cardboard boxes just is more environmentally friendly. And well, the only other problem is you can't keep the plastic cups. I actually don't think I even 
have one. And I know people that have hundreds of them. So if you want to get one, you should do that now before all of the stores replace it with these um, cardboard ones. But I'm a big supporter of this as they're moving towards that uh, net neutral, uh, carbon neutral and maybe carbon positive, well, I guess by, what was it, 2030 for the Lego group. All right, that's the breaking news. Thank you so much for tuning in for this week's breaking news. I'll bring you more next week, as I always do. Make sure, please, if you would love to continue seeing this podcast, get better and better and have some really fun, exclusive content, go join the Patreon. Whoever's my first Patreon, I, I will do almost anything. I really would. Just even if, it, I mean, I don't care what level, just please somebody do it. I would really appreciate the support. And again, make sure to subscribe to the podcast. And now don't leave. We're going to run into our Lego set review. This one is set 31133, White Rabbit. This set will cost you $19.99 and it is an eight plus set with 258 pieces and 130 VIP points. And it has 26 reviews at four and a half stars. So that's, um, that's pretty strong, pretty strong, uh, outcome for that. And it is back ordered for 60 days. So it won't, it won't be here in time for Easter. And I, that's, that sucks. But if you are near a store, they might have it. The Easter Bunny is really cute. It is a white bunny, as the name states. It does come with a sunflower and a carrot. So um, bunnies like to eat all kinds of little things. The the face itself looks really nice. They use these um, the cool angled um, uh, bar stud. I can't remember exactly, but it turns the eyes a little bit to an angle, so it looks more three dimensional because. Well, it's a rabbit, and instead of having it flat against the face or sticking all the way out unnormally, this is uh, very normal it, for a Lego rabbit. The paws are really cute. They are shells that are um, that were used in a lot of other C sets, uh, so it does look like little paws. And having such a fun, unique design for the Easter season is great. I always loved when they did the brick heads, and they've done some of the, like the Easter painting. And having the rabbit, I think, is a great addition to that. The ears are movable, so you can have it super happy or super sad. And there's also, um, since it is a three-in-one set, which, wow, it's a second three-in-one set. I forgot about that. You can make a cockatoo out of it and have the really cool little plumage on the top. Or you can make a land seal which is just a seal. Um, We call our dog, our corgi, a land seal when you put your ears back. They're all really cute. And for only $20, I think that's a great um, creator three-in-one set and especially good for the Easter holiday. So that gets a big stamp of approval from me. And uh, that's it. That's our podcast for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all those that are... And for all those still listening, if you join the Patreon now, the podcast will already be up so you can enjoy that and uh, just have a wonderful day. So I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.